Hello to protect our scoop snipes here. I'm sorry for my dressing. It's kind of messed up green and white. But as here's I came up here to show you my magazines. I have a like mall for two oh black ops dual mag. And I'm just gonna use my stampede for it. You have it in, you're aiming, you flip it out and just flip it around and it's ready to go. And then these two I designed especially for this. It's the, uh, uh, it's the 218 magazines. You can kind of see the outline of them. If I do this, you can kind of see them. But, uh, when you put them in, they go straight up, poke out a bit so you can hold around them. Then when I switch them, you still can hold. The other thing is it kind of makes it heavy to, if you're holding it this way to the right and this way to the left. Um, this one I made because I'm thinking of, if you guys have seen the movies, it's the John Rambo movies. Uh, imagine this being the body of an M60. Now I also have the box for it. So it's wide, it's thick, it's... If you can see it, oh, I don't think you can, but maybe... Camera, hold on. You can see it is hollow. Um, so it is able to be moved around. You can see the 18. Any lower, it wouldn't look believable. You can still pop it out. It looks retarded on any other gun, though. And like I kept saying before, I did find my Maverick. You can see it's silver plated. Magazine, well, the revolving come out, and you can see it. And it can be spun to reload. Um, it is in the individual. This thing was taped with, with I think, two or three different pieces to get it, these ridges in. And then I had this the slide. I on most of them, except for my Vulcan. I do have the Nerf covered up with some form. So if you're looking at it, you can't exactly tell right off the bat that it is Nerf, because it's. If you're looking at it in the real light, you're seeing kind of like this. You'll be looking at kind of like, if I can get it cracked. But when you're looking at it, you're going to be looking at kind of like this. And that doesn't look exactly like Nerf. If it does, then I want to just tell me in the comments, but it doesn't look very Nerfy to me. Like the Nerf thing. This one's my pride and joy. This one is my, uh, I'm... I don't remember the name, but I'm pretty sure it's Long Shot. I'm pretty sure the Long Strike's one of the newer ones, but this one's the like like one of the first ones of the Long Shot series. It's this. Um, I'm not showing it before. It's got a flashlight on this side, and it's not on a rail. I just taped it on, and you can hit the button. Down the other side, I have the Night Finder, the one with the laser on the bottom and. It does, you can pull it back and then still pump this. So you, and when you hold it, you would usually hold it like this. So you're firing, you can go bang, bang, and pop two off. And I've dialed in the accuracy, so I, um, I'd say, um, at five feet, you still can, it, the laser hits directly where you will be aiming. And mine's also slightly modified to where it back. Magazine is empty, so I won't have to find any rounds. Pop it in. I slam it, and if you hit it hard enough, it pops up. And then it's already fired at me, so you pop it back. So if you want to have the safety, you just have to hit it. I it If I hit it, I hit it right here. Slightly, like when you feel here, there's a little ridge. If you hit here, it like... If I wanted, if I was willing to peel the tape up and add any more, I would, but it has this little ridge here. I hit right in front of it, or directly on it, and I'll slam the bolt forward. Um, I used to have this camouflage, but I took it off because it was getting too bulky, too hard to move, and also I played paintball, so I'm getting a new one soon, sooner or later, so 
I'll probably be posting a video about that and some of me shooting at our local shooting range. Um, I haven't tried any of these magazines. This one's kind of like a, a dual magazine. You have the switch. I haven't tried this one with this yet. Yeah, this one doesn't fit. It uh, hits the box in the middle. This one should work, I think. Now this one also hits the box, if you can see it. It barely slides by if it's lucky. But I mean, you don't hit it very hard. I'm just barely hitting it at all. So I mean, it's just... I usually just use it. If I'm bored, I'll just like... Of course, I have a magazine here. I'll kind of just use it like a famas. So I'll just go toss it, then grab it and pop it, and just go... And then use it, because me and my friends do some messing around. And we'll just shoot each other for fun. So I use this one for that. If I can find a round really quick. Um, let's see. Ah, perfect. Let's hope these two fire. Okay. And so you know I'm videotaping this in my room. So if it's bad quality, sorry. Uh, I won't get much better. Um, so as you can see, I'm loading the bullet in. These ones, these magazines, I've slightly modified to fit seven in. I made the... Uh, main box in there a bit smaller. Some of you might say that it's just normal, but I've modified it myself. And then as you will see, I will, if I can get this to where you can see where I'm shooting. Hold on, I, I really cannot. Hold on, you'll see this. Hold on. You should be able to see the, see I shot that. That's from the main gun. Now, as you can see, plunge your back. Load it in. This one, since it is, um, from my view, kind of at a downward angle, like when you're shooting it, it's pointed slightly downward. Like, I'm going to hold this as level as I possibly can. It is slightly downward, so I do have to aim a bit higher than usual. As you can see, it doesn't fire it. And this is the only bad part about this, is I'm filming this on my iPod, so I can barely see. Um, let me see if I can't. Get this here, and now my knee. As you can see, um, where's the trigger? Let's see, um, is that even fire? Is that even? You see our dot? Shoots it there. Plungers down. Sorry about this. I'm trying to do this while looking at the very corner of this. And well, well, those are my newest guns. See ya. Bright light. Bye. This is Extra Speed signing off.